Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video guys this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is a Redmi TV 32 inch smart TV recently launched TV it's almost one and a half months I am already using this TV and later on I got an update and I already made a video on the update also but there are little bit of bugs in this uh, I mean update I want to share with you guys and there are some important bugs I need to explain you guys so watch till the end of the video and should we update the next update or wait for another update i will be explaining everything in this video if you are first time to this channel hit down subscribe down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon such that you will get the videos first to you and if you like the video give it a like and there are bugs like some of the bugs like the power button is not working as you can see i am showing on the screen right now power off is not working power on is working as you can see i will be turning on the tv now as you can see now the light have been cloned and i will operate the remote now as you can see as you can see pressing the power on is working as you can see the tv is booting time got this is working at least if this was also not working i need to manually press the button down there in the tv but anyhow this is how the bug number one i have noticed this is like long time bug i have seen in many me tvs also even after resetting that it is not going to go xiaomi or redmi should definitely look on this why it is happening you need to solve this problem it's very big problem power off button is not working every time i need to switch off the main switch instead of this this is very very big bug and the other thing is like in the about section if you go you can check out the system update but there is no option to pause the update or schedule the update. i mean you can't change the update things it it automatically updates there is no option also which version i am in and how to stop and is it like uh, it became mandatory what i will say is like it's itself takes the update once you press the check for update or it in the background background it will update this is very big con xiaomi or redmi should fix that also they need to give the option to update or not or should we turn the turn off the updates those options are simply missing in this redmi tv and the second bug is like that one and the first bug i will reshow here as you can see the power button is not working i mean power off button there are many videos in youtube that suggesting to remap the button to some other volume button or anything like that why do i do such methods i need a power button which has given in the remote i want the same thing isn't it even after resetting also it may go but it will come back again i have experienced in some of the tvs and i already reset also after a week again i am seeing the same problem like this one and that is really irritating as you can see here i am showing if i power on it is working this is really a bad thing let me this i did not expect it from you guys need a fix on this please because it will ruins the experience of the tv i hope you guys understand and make it a fix in the upcoming update and give them a choice whether to update a tv or not there is nothing in the update section just update it that's all where is the options and one more bug is like while playing the videos in i mean the pen drive or sd cards it will detect and it will play up to 64 gb i tried even 128 gb sd card also i mean the pen drives but after one if it is a movie is two hours time after one hour it stops playing i don't know why some movies will play some movies will won't play that's the one more bug i have seen and i hope these are the three bugs i found out in later upcoming days what all the other bugs i am going to face i don't know this is very bad experience for me regarding the software the hardware level is very good and watching videos i can just with the power off button i mean power off button i can manually add off the power button that's not a problem but update should be given some more information about the update as we see in the 
smartphones that is simply missing here and this optimization everything is fine i am optimizing everything fine every day i will be optimizing this it's not a problem but that power button should be solid and updates regarding updates they should give more information what certain update number is it and what update we are getting and should we update or not there should be options man and that's all for this video guys if you like the video give it a like and thank you for watching my video and we'll meet with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now